This mass suicide was discovered here in the ancient Mayan city of Tikal. The victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts that the end of time will coincide with a planetary alignment on the 21st of December of 2012. How was it working in the film? I was really excited to, to, to work on it. Uh, I was really excited to work with Roland. I thought that the, um, the cast that he was bringing together was full of people that I would always wanted to work with. So I was, uh, you know, I'd, the only person I'd worked with before was Tandy Newton, and I was uh, very excited to work with her again. And, um, you know, and then there's John Cusack and Danny Glover and Oliver Platt and Woody Harrelson and, you know, Amanda Peet, and it just goes on. And I thought it was a really great team, so I was, uh, I was thrilled. Hello? Kate! I've rented a plane. Pack up the kids. The governor just said we're fine now. When they tell you not to panic, that's when you run! You call me back when you calm down. It seems the worst is over. How did you get involved with the film? I was just, I was sent the script, you know, uh, uh, by, by, by Roland and I went to meet him and uh, and uh, the writer, Harold Closer, um, we just, just talked about it. We talked about Mayan prophecies, we talked about all of it. And, um, and I was very excited to, to get on board. Now, what attracted you to your character, Adrian Helmsley? I, uh, I just thought he was a very interesting part of the film. You know, he, uh, he discovers what's going to happen. He discovers all the uh, information. He's a geologist, he's a scientist, he discovers what's going to start to tear the world apart and then um, uh, he rises up the ranks, he works for the White House, he rises up the ranks very quickly and becomes the chief science advisor to the, to the, to the, to the president and then as everything starts to fall apart, you know, he takes us uh, as an audience behind the curtain, you know, behind into the corridors of power and we can take a, a look at what they're all planning on doing. According to their calendar, in the year 2012, a cataclysmic event will unfold caused by an alignment of the planet in our solar system that only happens every 640,000 years. Oh, not again. I think that's why Roland's so attracted to this genre as a whole is because uh, it gives you this incredible visual landscape, but also it connects you to these really raw human emotions. And I think that the, um, the combination of the two things is is kind of irresistible. And don't forget the humor. There's a lot of humor in the film. There is, you know, it's it's uh, it's the end of the world, but you know, you got to, you know, you got to there's a little bit of a wink and a smile there sometimes as well, which is really I think important. You know, the Mayan calendar can be interpreted a few different ways. Uh, we're all very hopeful that we'll, you know, be around in 2013 <laughs> and that this is a fantastical journey, you know, it's a fantastical tale and it's a, it's a thrilling entertaining ride you know so uh, it's important to get all get all the aspects of that one quick question do you believe in 2012 you know the Mayan prophecy is there and um, you know it's just a question of which way you think it's going to go and which way you kind of interpret it that the uh, I didn't I didn't know much about it beforehand and then you know you, so you start to look at the materials you get a little paranoid you know with all the tie-ins and the coincidences and Nostradamus and all this but you know I, I'm quietly confident that we're going to be around in 2013 and that the the interpretation of the Mayan prophecy is about a, uh, is, is actually about a change in direction a change in uh, in consciousness a new beginning perhaps and that's uh, and, and that's um, that's what I'm very hopeful of. Good luck on the film again, Mr. Chiwetel, and hope to see you in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I knew you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.